Okay, now obviously the first thing for you, I, I'm cheating a little bit just for the sake of time, but you clearly need a diagram for this. Like, that, that's complicated just looking at it, and I haven't added anything to it at all. The question says, a sailing boat sets out in a race with three legs as shown. First, it goes from A to B, so it's going, it's going this way, right? Then it goes from B to C, so it finishes, hold on, three legs, it comes back. It comes back, doesn't it? It returns to a starting point. That's the third and final leg, okay? Um, they give you all this information. It looks to me like everything has been placed onto the diagram. You can see the 310 degrees, the 9.6, the 217, and the 13.2, okay? So far, so good. Let's have a look now. The first question is, and this is very similar to how we went in question 20. How far is B north of A. Alright, here's your diagram. How far is B north of A? So, I'm going up, aren't I? I'm going up. I'm going to extend this a little bit. Okay. So that north goes all the way. <laughs> Do you see it? Okay. So now, I'm going to draw an east line over here, like that. So this is a north line. This is an east line. Okay. So if I put that point there, let's call that P for point, which is the distance that will give me the answer to the question, how far B is north of A? Which distance? Give it, it's got a name, which one? Can you see the name? If this is A, that's B, and this is P. A. A P, perfect. This distance, that's a bad color to choose. This distance here is how far north is B from A. Okay. So now that you know where you're looking, what kind of information am I going to need to get that? I need an angle. Um, the angle that I need, I'm just going to make that a bit smaller because it's in the way. The angle I need is the one that's inside the triangle, right? I think the one I'm after is this one. How do I find that angle? Yeah, um, 360 is all the way around. I know that this part over here is 310, so the leftover is... 50. Cool. Okay. Now that I'm in this right angle triangle, I know one of the angles, I know the side I'm after. So I want this AP over here, BP I already know, so which ratio? Which ratio? Cos is adjacent on hypotenuse. So I can write, I'll just stick it in down here. Cos of 50 degrees is going to be AP on 9.2. Six. Now, just a quick note, you saw how I labelled, I, I drew these lines, I called that point P. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to have a lot of other points in this diagram and I want to be able to give things names, so I'm not confusing myself and I'm communicating clearly to the marker. So I highly recommend you do something like that. The next one will be Q, the next one will be R, etc. Okay? So therefore, I can multiply both sides by 9.6. And that will give me the length that I'm after. Are you happy? Someone got it? 6.2. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay? Yep. All right. You, they then ask you a series of other questions that are very similar. You just got to think about where you're going to do your constructions. Uh, this next one. How far is C south of B? All right. Where am I going to have to construct? How far is C south of B? Yeah, very good. So I'm going to go up from C. So something like that. So long as I go past B, I'm okay. And then I guess I'm going to go west from B. Yeah. Should I do that line straight? Straight enough. There you go. Okay. So I've got a new point here. I'm going to call that Q. I'm just going to go in the alphabet. Which length do I want? Give it. It's got a name. It's got a name. CQ, right? CQ. This is the one that is how far C is south of B. Um, again, you're going to need an angle inside that triangle. Which angle do we want? It's got again. It's got a name. It's got a name. This one here. That's the angle I want, right? That's the easiest angle I can see. Uh, I think that's CBQ. Why is it like that? Yeah. Are you asking why is it that angle or why is it that name? No, why is that angle? Oh, isn't it because it went out whichever one in the middle is the one you want to find? 
Yeah, yeah correct. So when you when you name an angle like this, C B Q, right? I'm basically going in order uh, C then B then Q. So I'm going around the angle. Q and C. is the same. Yeah. Yeah, Q B C is well. They're both having B in the middle, which is the important part. Though, yeah? um, I think people tend to do them alphabetically though. So. But it, it, that's not such a big deal. Okay, uh, what's CBQ? How do I work out its size? Yeah, very good. So if I went all the way around this way to west, that would be 270. We actually looked at that in the previous question. But I'm not going that far. Um, I've got this 217, that's the difference. So, um, 53, 270 minus 217, I think, is 53. Wait, isn't it? Yeah. Does yeah. oh, that add up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to rehearse this now um, in terms of the number, but you can see I want this side over here, which is opposite the angle. I know this length, 13.2, which is the which side is it in this triangle? It's the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse is sine. Very good. So sine of CBQ is going to be uh, opposite, which I don't know, on hypotenuse, which I do know. Okay, and then you can go ahead and you can work out that value. Okay, okay. How, how are you faring? Do, does the approach make sense? Yeah, you can see. I construct, I look at where, where the triangle is and therefore what angle I need inside, and then you just have to be careful with, okay, how do I work out the sizes of those angles? Okay, do you want me to keep going or do you want to have a go based on that start? Hands up for keep going. Okay, keep going because I'm just looking at the next part and I'm like, sure. Alright, what is the next part? <laughs> I like doing it like C south of A. C south of A. Okay, sure. So just like I did for the last two parts, I need to make a triangle. Here's C and here's A. So where's the triangle going to be? Yeah, I have to go south, don't I? So let me just move this guy out of the way. I have to go south this way. And then I have to go... East this way. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Okay, so I've made a new triangle. I've got these points intersecting at another, these lines intersecting at a new point, so I'm going to call that R. Bless you. I want to find out how far C is south of A. What's the name of the side that is how far C is south of A? Where is it? Yeah, AR is perfect. It's uh, this guy over here. Do you see it? Okay, let's think. This one's a bit trickier. How am I going to find out the angle or an angle inside this triangle? Hmm. And this is trickier. This is trickier. So I'm glad someone asked me to, to keep going. Okay. Look, look carefully. Okay, I'm actually going to pause for a moment. This is actually a really important stage for you guys because I can tell you the answer right now and then you will learn nothing. You'll just learn what the number is, which is useless to you next time. Okay, I'm actually going to pause for a minute. You got the diagram there, so do I. I want you to stop looking at this. I want you to look at your diagram. I mean, draw some things, rub out some things. Think slowly, carefully, talk to your friends. How can you work out any angle in this triangle down here? That's the question that I've got for you. Okay? You have a think. A R C. By the way, I want to give you a bit of a clue before before you say anything, right? One of the tricky things is, uh, this is the way I say it, you know when you have to, um, if you're walking, driving a very short distance, right? Like if you went from here to Cherrybrook Village, okay? If you're driving, it's pretty much like one way to go, 
right? I mean, unless you want to take the really scenic route, there's one path. Whereas, if I ask you to go somewhere very far away, there's like five, six, seven, ten different ways to drive, okay? Now, this is a question that is not close. It's a question that's far away. We've got all this work here. There are lots of different ways to approach the question. Now, I've asked you a couple of questions that would suggest for this and this question, I needed to find an angle to find a length. I found an angle, then I found a length. In this case down here, you've hit some trouble in terms of finding an angle to find this length. Is there anything else you could do if this was the length that you wanted? If you think you have an answer, I'll come around to you because I don't want to spoil it. Do you remember as I went through, I kept making triangles, but they weren't just any triangles, they were special triangles. Why were they special? They're all right angle because there's like north and east and south and west, all that kind of thing. I want you to have a look at all the right angles I've drawn. I drew one over here, then I drew one over here, the last one I drew was over here, down in the bottom right hand corner. If those are right angles, then this is a right angle too, isn't it? Yeah. So what kind of shape is the whole thing? Rectangle. It's a rectangle, right? Now you've already worked out that this is 6.2, oh and I think God. some of you worked out this angle, this length as well, didn't you? Oh but in a rectangle, the opposite side, thank you, 10.5. In a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal to each other. So this final length over here is just the difference. 10.5 uh, take away 6.2. That sounds like 4.3 to me. Okay? 